Hello everybody. It's December 14th, 2016. Looking at my website, heavenlysign2017.com. A couple of things here I want to talk about. This is under the page on the website. You can go to it. It's called 100% Proof. We're going to go through a, a few things that, concerning the Revelation 12 sign in the heavens that will appear on September 23rd of 2017. And I think that after you watch this you're going to agree that this is not just a lot of coincidences. So we're going to start right here with the fact that the sign itself is a one-time event that it will never occur again. Now some have said that this sign appeared during the time of Jesus' birth, but the alignments uh, did not match. Uh, so this is unique. It's been traced back through Stellarium software to as far back, I believe, as 6,000 years or 7,000 years in the past and 1,000 years in the future. So this sign did not represent a past event that took place in our history as lovely as that event was we're looking at a context in Revelation which surrounds itself with imagery and symbolism of the end times prophecies and so there's no question but that this is not a sign of, a, of some sort that is a reminder of Jesus' birth, but something much greater than that. The truth of the matter is that the sign that will appear in the heavens September 23rd of next year just happens to be the 70th anniversary, or 70 years from 1947, to the rebirth of Israel. It is the 50th anniversary or year of Jubilee for Jerusalem. It is the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. It is the 70th anniversary of the Dead Sea Scrolls. It is the 120th Jubilee from Adam and it is the 70th Jubilee since Canaan. It is the 40th Jubilee since Christ's death and it just so happens to land on the, the, the day of the Feast of Trumpets which is actually a two-day feast but it will appear on the Day of Trumpets. Now it is the uh, 70th Jubilee since the Exodus in 1483 BC and it just so happens that this is a Jewish New Year that we are in right now which is 5777 notice how the Hebrew letters even look like sevens uh, the biblical numeric meaning of 5777 is grace means five and five is is the symbolic meaning the biblical meaning the number for grace and seven means perfection and three sevens actually mean uh, completion so that is not a coincidence. Now, Jupiter is actually in the womb of Virgo uh, for the a normal pregnancy period. A normal human gestation period is, they say, about 280 days. Jupiter is in the womb of Virgo for 269 days. Now, that's depending on the fact that, you know, according to the calculations that Jupiter entered into the womb. November 20th of this year 2016 
which there may be some slight a few days discrepancy given the fact of uh, the alignment of one particular star in which the lines of the constellation uh, allowed for there to be a discrepancy but this also is no coincidence now the woman represents Israel uh, the Sun uh, the church the body of Christ uh, simply because uh, the church grew out of Judaism uh, everywhere in scripture the woman is always represented as Israel uh, the child being the son is you know, the son born uh, it's it's actually the word we on the Greek it's son not child uh, we're actually one with him and there's a lot more that can be said about that but it's for fact seized by force to the throne of God when the child is born uh, if you look at the sign Revelation 12 verses 1 2 through through 4 uh, what you'll find is the child is said to be caught up to God's throne now the word for caught up is harpazo in the Greek it means to seize by force to snatch up now if this was a depiction of the Christ's first coming and his ascension as being caught up you know ascended uh, I challenge anyone to go to the text and look at the Greek word for the Greek word you three separate Greek words used for his ascension in which uh, he wasn't caught up by force through these are other words that were used and of course he wasn't in any danger uh, at that time uh, the dragon certainly wasn't about to devour him at that time which is what the illustration or the depiction of Revelation 12 the sign of Revelation 12 in the heavens clearly points out now according to Revelation 310 uh, as well as numerous other verses uh, cross-referenced verses uh, pretty much the mid-trib post-trib partial trib any other kind of trib uh, rapture theory has been debunked uh, you're gonna hear a lot of people argue that it's you know the church goes into the tribulation and suffers you know God's wrath uh, during the tribulation that is absolutely false uh, the rapture does take place before the tribulation it's actually called the time of Jacob's trouble it has nothing to do with the church it is a period of testing for God's people Israel and it just so happens that on September 21st of 2017 uh, the, they have their International Peace Day which they always do on the 21st of September and of course their their motto is always peace and security uh, and of course it's global so it's the world that's saying peace and security and according to 1 Thessalonians 5.3 when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape this is just the tip of the iceberg I really do challenge you folks to uh, go to the web and look at all the evidence that's mounting for this event being not only genuine but uh, authenticated and validated through various means uh, it's been validate, validated and authenticated through various sources uh, not just us normal folks out here on the web but pretty much all over it's uh, blanketing the internet it's an event that's going to take place there's no question about it it does have high biblical significance it does relate to you it does matter to you it should matter to you and uh, the truth is we're going home uh, we're going home soon uh, that's about all I want to say in this video uh, thanks for watching y'all take care be safe and God bless